All right, we are back. We are in space. It's still hard to believe. And how heckin' chill is this tune? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I do hope everyone is doing well. We had a lot happen last time. I'm not about to go over it. I was talking with the chat earlier, just catching up with everybody. Everybody getting sick. And everybody just gearing up for the week ahead. Yeah, just hope you all can stay nice and cozy and snug. Got a lot of character quests, but I'm trying to push through the lore right now, because there is there is a lot going on going on here. We are on our way to what is called the Orbital Cradle. We've got to crawl through the space elevator Virgilius. I don't know, I hear the name Virgil and my brain just goes to Devil May Cry. Anyone else hear a game reference and just instantly go to something else before? Man. Ooh. Anyone else getting, like, the awe of space but their fear of heights triggered in them right now? Because that's me! <laughs> oh, this tune is just so comfy. Oh my goodness. Kind of curious what all is around here. Kind of looks like we can. No, we can't jump up there. We can. It looks like we'll be able to like walk down from there. Imagine. That's the planet we live on. I'm curious if there was anything else. Oh, there's a platform over here. Got to stay on the lookout. Oh, here we go. Heavy plates will always take crafting materials. Ooh. Again, just one of those things where it's like awe-inspiring and terrifying at the same time. Alright, you two, let's go. Hello. Yes, we will be taking on some enemies here. Ew, rude. Well, these are level 52. Have to be careful. Is everyone all right? What was that? He just like he was defeated, and then just like zoomed over here. Hey. Okay. I owe you one. Maybe take those. Man. Anything of interest over here? Aside from just more enemies. Let's get this over. Ow, rude. No, no, no. I owe you one. Oof. Dadgum. Enemy stunning me. I mean, at the very least, I didn't get hit. I do not feel like passing out. Is everyone alright? a long jump over that way. Not that we'd be able to make it. Yeah, we still have gravity. <laughs> Just gotta kind of navigate our way around. Come from... Oh no, that's where we're going. See a treasure chest. Give. 
three minutes. Hmm. And I am just vibing to this tune, oh my goodness. It's like so comfy snug, if anything, I'm wide vibing to it. <laughs> Again, a reminder, if you are in the chat, uh, we do use uh, emote extensions such as BTTV and 7TV. They are completely free uh, internet browser extensions for your perusal. And you can get a whole bunch of free emotes of my choosing that we've added to the chat. Granted, I'm just a little sad that sometimes it feels uh, difficult to navigate uh, the 7TV website. It might be... My PC or our internet, I don't know. I know we don't have the best of internet. One day, though. Again, they're installing fiber, I think, in our area, but we just don't know when they'll actually open up that uh, option for us, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, yes, please. Take another monolite. Oh, boy. See you over there, all glowy and angy and everything. Shishums. Treasures. Guarding something. I want it. I'm curious how speedy I or you one. big this guy's gonna be. Sneaky sneak. You better stay away from that enemy. Oh, I know. <laughs> run. Depot Gator, run! <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> oh, I, I love I love being sneaky. up here. I don't get it. Oh dear. Well, shoot. Okay, not bad. Hmm. Oh. Right, like even though even though they're not factioning, they're still Seem to be Seths or Omens that believe that we they should keep the operations of this place a secret from humans, from this, from the Abels. I don't know. There's still a lot of stuff that's not exactly clear. Oh, wow.
What is that? Seas Light Factory? Proto sea slide, oh my gosh. Wow. They weren't given, they were produced. No, I'm pretty sure he's serious. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna kinda need to... Need a from the beginning bit, especially if the Red Queen that fell to Earth and caused all of Quietus across the Earth and the extinction of humans. Okay, now that much made sense, again, with the all, all the random Seth that we've run into and all the biomes, such as in the forest, in the ocean, they're like, oh, we're studying to, how to restore nature, in a way. It's like, why would you want to restore nature? Everything looks perfectly fine here. But again, you wouldn't... You wouldn't be discovering this if you didn't do, like, character quests or a lot of the side stories. Ashram cell again. Then in something that causes death, why would there be a blueprint for life on it? The Gaia Genome. And hence Regaia. That's why she talked about the history, about the past when she first arrived, saying that all the structures and the clothing look to be like, a uh, times from the medieval settings.
they were able to develop this kind of technology. a bit to take in. Right, that I guess that kind of makes sense. Then where does it come from? And how long, how many years or times have people been going through since this started? It's 2,000 years since the world, so there's no telling how long the, the Seth or the Omens were developing this and growing it and everything. Not to mention getting to the second planet, which again I suspect is the moon. Which is something we definitely don't want. They did say that Geist was doing his own individual research. Jeez. Oops. Hang on. Ah. No, a console. Which explanation do you want to read? Huh. Uh, sure. Huh. That was the summer sea's light. That created the land.
Hmm. Mountainous terrain, so... This is the false sea's light, the one that's closest to leaf and bird's eye brain. These were dropped from here. So what they're going to have a giant seas light. But then they suspended it and went with a bunch of smaller seas light. <coughs> Excuse me. What the heck, game? Also for stone, we'll take those. And this is so much. Again, that just learning, like, the AI seemed like a smart move to entrust the repopulation of humans and rebuilding the life. Again, this is like Wall-E version. Wall-E sizes of uh, sci-fi. You know, it's like the world is dying, the humans leave one way or another while the AI or robots rebuild the world in a way, or figure out a way to sustain life. Man. It's crazy to think about, but you never know. The battle begins. Just yeah. die. Yeah. Is everyone yeah. alright? Well, keep making our way around, I suppose. Hmm. I'm just drawn in by how good this uh, dungeon tune is. Like, I mean, it's very fitting, but just for it to be so cozy for a dungeon. Speaking of cozy, anybody else cozy today? It's a little bit warmer here today, getting up in like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. But this is this is kind of the typical uh, typical fluctuation of temperatures when it comes to the fall in the mid south. Let's get this over. Oh no! Uh, boom. There we go. I think I made plenty of those. Again, food makes all things better. <laughs> Getting lots of mechanical parts, which is good. Yeah, I just continuing to think about this game, I continually get like more Square Enix and Final Fantasy XIV vibes from it, one way or another. Ooh, hang on. I do have a repair kit level 2 on me. We could go back and see what's up with this lift. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, dang. That would take us far into the wee hours of the morning. We'll have to visit that another day. Let's see if I can run over this way, hope that there's a monolite this way. Um, 
Hmm. I'm supposed to go over there. And we can't have this after midnight. Here we go. Bam! And we are going home. Ooh. in the box of course now we're in winter it's so gorgeous I feel like all seasons but I think I tend to like I've tended to like winter and cold more as I've gotten older rather than summer of course I think it's because like as a kid you know you look forward now to summer because it's like it's <laughs> it's summer vacation and all that stuff. But then as you get older, it's like you want it to be you want it to be colder, you want to be cozy. Granted, I don't want it to be cold all the time. That sunstone. That is a lot of monies. I would be interested in hearing uh, what all of y'all's favorite seasons or weather are. Like, I do tend to like, uh, what's it, uh, spring and fall. Like, I like what every season brings to the table, but I do tend to find myself liking fall and winter more. Like, I do like summer and spring for, like, wearing shorts and sundresses and skirts and like cute clothing and stuff but ugh, i don't like the hot i don't like the extreme hot that it gets here in the mid-south but then it's like i like the snow i like the snow as long as i don't have to go out in it <laughs> but that's the one thing is that the mid-south was not prepared to deal with was like inches and inches of snow or when we got that uh ice storm back in February here. Like, sheesh. But each, each their own and each what it is. Like, it's still fascinating, but it can still be terrifying, too. To get stuff to put in our furs. I could also go ahead and make some level 2 bombs with our nitro pineapples here. It's just hilarious that they, it's like you have to literally grow them, but they are not for consumption. And they literally look like little fruity hand grenades. <laughs> I mean, isn't that another expression for a hand grenade is a pineapple, I think? Going nice 
Our work is pretty good wing exercise. forgot about this. This is freezing over so we can get over here and get what's in here. <gasps> Ooh, another sunstone. Let's go. Not only that, we can still fish if we so wish. That's nice. Products to put in the box. To do our gathering spots, of course. Look at how gorgeous this place is. Yeah, and just like a winter wonderland. I would not complain about living here whatsoever. How are you not freezing, dude? Keep food on us to keep our stamina up. Anything else we can make at the moment? Turn in. I think right now we're just waiting on most things for the last recipes. Splendid Spring! Yes, please. Ooh! That looks gorgeous and delicious. Now we can go turn that in over at, well, Namiya. That works. think we'll have to worry about uh, lore damage, but it never hurts to check. Sure. That's yeah, stuff we're waiting on. I'm a meshy. Oh, this was another one to turn in over in Eden. There's that. Ooh. Yeah, the food looks so good in this game. Like, holy moly. And now I'm trying to remember what all the recipe needed were.
Um, go ahead and make that while we've got it. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. Vanilla, hidden. Ooh, we've got drinks. some day prepping up. Alright. I hope you bring back souvenirs. <laughs> don't remember if the Splendid Spring is going to be the last dish for Namiya to turn in. We're going to find out. Getting all this delicious food. Oh, that's right. We still need to turn in the peach rose mousse. I almost forgot about that. Minstrel! Thank you so much for the resub at eight months. Oh my gosh. It's already been eight months or so. Goodness. And thank you. Can't stay. I just want to say, hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. You as well, friend. I do hope you have a lovely, lovely Thanksgiving. And safe travels and everything. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping in and being kind enough to drop a Risa, but yes, have a lovely, safe Thanksgiving. I know you'll have a great time with your family and all that. <sighs> okay. We've got one more dish, and we've got to probably wait till spring. Till we can do that. Oh, and one other thing for a little bit of a temptation for being a sub is that we do have a sub channel in the Discord and I am closing in on finishing up all of the holiday emotes, not only making them HD, making them look sharper for like the regular versions, but we are also going to have holiday emotes going live this weekend so you'll be able to have some cute cozy colorful holiday emotes for your perusal if you decide to subscribe as well as having ad free viewing and all that but uh subs will get a first look at that uh probably i don't know within like the next 24 hours or so i'll drop those in the uh in the sub channel so i do hope you all will look forward to that Oh, right, Dianthus wants to talk to us. We could make time for her. Let's do that. Let's go say hello to Dianthus. Yeah, did you find what you needed? Oh.
Oh, right. She's wanting to know about the human heart. Stay hydrated, chat. Suggestion box. <laughs> you had to name it that in all caps. Ooh, indeed, we do. Gonna collect the letters. What? Crafty. Location. Complaints <laughs> demanding we stop receiving such primitive correspondence. What? trouble. Sure. <laughs> oh. I look forward to seeing where that's going to go. Special technique, Primal Rizumata. Crushing Sage Attack. Okay. Sounds cool. Oh, he actually did take us home. But I'm complaining. Let's see. Let's. Drop that off. And... And... Oh, I guess we could have gone and seen Namiya. We still can. Yeah, let's do some side stories today. I imagine I those wouldn't take so souvenirs. long. Those wouldn't take so long. This should also be our level 10 with, uh... With, uh, Istina. There's a quest for this, but... Ah, there she is. Oh, 
good for you. That's a lot of books. you'll make a great head teacher as you're mindful of these things <laughs> Time seems so slow when you're a kid, but yet it seems to move so quickly when you're an adult an adult. for you. That is level 10. Very nice. Good for you, Estina.
And we can go to Arjun. We can also stop off in the Unicorn Forest. That is a valid question. <laughs> if I must. Yes, I'll come running. Bless. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Take those. Speed maker level two would probably be just what I need if I'm gonna aspire to expand my animal pens at some point in the future. And we're going to Arjun. Baraka first. Oh.
I mean, if they were the ones that helped establish the world, they might know where something like this came from. story. Too much, just that they're around. They somehow feed on the souls of people. If they're trying to they're trying to proliferate the humanity and the humans, it's like that's kind of a setback to have something come along that devours them. and calm down, bud. Not making little of what you experienced. Give that to me. to it, I guess. No reason to trash it or anything since it's a well-made weapon.
Uh, the last uh, skill tree of the Avenger class. Very nice. That's here. Speaking of. <laughs> Ooh. Ants reload. Start with this. Oh wow, I had a lot of points saved up. My goodness. Uh. Ooh. Sounds cool. Oh, I'm not gonna complain about that. What other dishes did you need? Right. Things I still need to wait on winter plants for. Of course. We can go visit with Shirika. I don't think she would, unless it would cause a stir within the order. Dear. Is he talking about the locked door of the Patriarch's office or something?
Hmm. There's a secret passage. Another automata? This thing's been here for a thousand years. Not to mention that this has been going for at least a thousand years, not only the order, but also the planet. No telling how long before that.
Hmm. That would be a lot to take in. That's all for the character quests right now. Man, again, just how much world building is done through these side stories, through the character quests and whatnot. Like stuff you wouldn't find outside of the story. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Outside of the story itself. Because this would be so much lore to have to digest at one time, so that's actually kind of smart to put it all scattered amongst all the characters and their side quests. Because that way it's in kind of more of a digestible plotline rather than things all at once. Go to Eden. There you are. Got one more dish here. Again, we just need to wait on those Makoko plants. And return home. Okay. You'll go ahead and save. I think I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to refill my water, go to the potty. I encourage you all to do the same. We'll run some ads to push back the pre-rolls for anyone coming in. I'll be back in a few minutes.
Alright, welcome back everyone. Thank you for your patience. I got myself some more water. I also grabbed my, uh, blanket hoodie. Still just a little bit chill today, but we making it. Staying warm is also good for trying to fight off this sinus infection or whatever is trying to form. Excuse me. Alright. Again, we did all of our character quests. But the words we got away. What else? Now, one of these repair kits is going to go towards the, uh... The one lift in Virgilius. I know there's a number of places we could use this uh, level 2 bomb. You know? Let's actually go seek some of those places out. Right? Done all those here. Thank you. Bye bye! So let's start. Let's start at the beginning. Very first dungeon we went to. at least one one uh, level 2 bomb area here that we need to check out. Yep. All the way up there. Man. Okay, so then let's do this. Then we can go backwards and we can get to it faster. Take out some fears while we're here. Take it down. Yeah. Yeah. Piece of cake. I'm highly capable, you know. The battle begins. Yeah. Take that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Got feared. Yeah. Simple Heroes Ring, okay. We are not fishing today. Go over here and set us up a bomb. Let's get this over. In the very beginning, since we've seen this with the first dungeon, we finally have our level 2 bomb. So, what is back here? Oh! An even stronger fear. Thanks. With that, back. Stronger Wait, fear? That one is dangerous. What else? Is oh unmatched beast king. Don't tell me these are what's all behind all of these. Oh my gosh. Cause what we're we're 53, so this would be a struggle. I do not have the time to be taking him on, but good to know. Again, it makes me interested in what would await us behind the other the uh, other areas with uh, level 2 bomb walls and repair kits. 
Huh. I have to say, a stronger fear was not what I was anticipating behind those. It's good to know, but there is this encyclopedia where it lists, like, all of the fears. And I think it's all of the fears that we've, like, attacked, I'm guessing? Which, heck, we haven't even faced all of them yet. Hmm. Let's see, that might be another thing to take on, is seeing about the other, uh, other fears and things. See if we can't fill out the encyclopedia, why not? Again, the day that Nintendo comes across with a... Comes up with a trophy system. It's gonna be interesting. Hey, return home. Put our goodies away. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely want to keep making uh, level 2 bombs and repair kits if we're wanna, gonna want to keep getting farther into these places. That, we're gonna need a lot of empty batteries. To keep putting in our battery charger. Then for the repair kits, we'll need a lot of level 2 screws. To we'll need a lot of screws. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Oh, we can make the feed maker level 2. Let's do that. Again, at some point, I've got to think... I've got to look into... Uh, upgrading my, uh... My duders, my uh, animal pins. Do do do. What else can we make? <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. I like having a lot of juice and stuff, so having a level 3 fermenting barrel seems to make sense. Very sleepy. We gonna pass out. Okay. Made it to bed. Sunstone coming in clutch! terms of monies. Okay. Let's get our stuff. Hmm. Now I guess the question is how much is our drink our fermenter New level 3 ferment are gonna take to make juice. I guess as well as our feed maker, too. It'd probably be best to go ahead and set them up before. Try assuming how much we'll need for it. Oh, we need to ship that. Gotta keep making sure these things are making stuff for sure. It's so pretty out here! Huh? I'm gonna set this up. Oh, it's so big! This thing is ginormous! What the heck? Why is it so big? You know, not using these. Take this. Take this. Let's grab you. 
Take this. <laughs> this is a little bit of a spoiler, but you want to see something? I got the level 3 fermentation barrel. I don't know. It's so huge, though. <laughs> I guess it makes sense considering it's level 3, but it's so big! A 25. Oh my gosh. Spirit walked by, and since we're both playing this, it's like, you gotta check out how comically huge this thing is, so... Yeah, hopefully it... Hopefully it does make, like, a lot of stuff. Otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna put, like level twos in there all day yeah just the size of it it's like huh let me see what this is about i should what would be good i mean vegetable juice is always good lemon juice it's too bad i don't know if i don't think we can make any kind of chestnut juice at some point, we'll be rolling an apple juice, but it takes time. Uh, grape juice, why not? Are we about to find out what this chonker can do? <laughs> yeah, I just had to show you. I know. I, I just had to show you. It's like, well, let me put this down. Oh, it's big. <laughs> <sighs> uh, something else I saw is that uh, Steam is having an autumn game sale going on right now. Interesting stuff on there that's a wish list. You know, like 20 to half off or kind of crazy. Looks like things. some of the cracks are ready for harvest. Wait. Oh, they're talking about the trees. They have to plant even more apple trees. Just to, like, keep getting those apples for apple juice. Liver, how are you? Are you on uh, Thanksgiving break now? That's an inter interesting question. I remember when I was a kid, regular school Thanksgiving break was only like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. College was the whole week, but now it's like, what, some schools are the whole week? Ah, crap frames. What the heck? Hold, please. I don't know why frames are freaking out. You're doing good and you're on break. Let's go. Have you gotten uh, the Pokemon game yet? I assume you have, considering how enthusiastic you were about it, which was cool. Uh, put these away. Damn it. So that. Uh, Yep, which starter did you go with? Because I know I've been enjoying a lot of people playing uh, Pokemon and likely gonna look into it myself at some point in the near future. Because it just looks so heckin' fun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But for now, we're still having fun with Harvestella and getting closer to um, the secrets behind this game and whatnot. Maybe we can make some orange jam, I suppose. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's... Hmm. Play Coco, very nice. I do hope you enjoy it. Yeah, good. Orange jam it is. Some 
the stew. Yeah, I am <clears throat> definitely interested in a Quaxley myself. Materials. Just seeing how much people are enjoying it. I mean, heck, one of the people that I mod for last night, it's like, the very last Pokemon he needed was Quaxley in all of its evolutions. It's like, give me the duck! I need the duck! Like, he kept doing a whole bunch of tra uh, surprise trades and stuff. It was like, Bullseye, I need you to channel your duck energy to give this duck. <laughs> uh, so it gave me a few ideas, especially if we're... Again, I can't be absolutely 100%, but I'm very strongly saying that there may be Pokemon streams in the future. So we will see. But yeah, just hearing people being excited about the duck has given me, given me a few ideas, emote-wise. Crap, what was I looking for? Feet, right. Oh, Eve Maker level two just needs one. Huh. I mean, sure. Who's in two, I suppose. Guess we'll see what the level two Feed Maker does. I don't know if it's gonna make it higher quality or if it makes more from one, that would be awesome. We'll see. Yep, we are still enjoying the, uh, the Harvestella, and I've seen a good bit of, uh, Pokemon, so I won't do any spoils, but it would still be fun to have, like, my own adventure in that game and whatnot. I don't know, maybe even get into some competitive? Like, I've never been competitive, but there's some stuff starting up out there that seems like it would be just right for somebody like me, who's curious about competitive and... Pokemon and all that, and having fun with community members and stuff, too. But yes, I do hope you enjoy yourself. Enjoy your Thanksgiving break, and have a lovely Thanksgiving tomorrow, of course, if I don't see you. Of course, tomorrow we will be off. I don't know. Again, I can't be 100% on days off if I'll do anything because most of the time it's like it's going to be family or running errands and stuff yeah for anybody in the US I do hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving tomorrow and of course if you're in the discord and you have some good looking food or anything or whatever you're thankful for tomorrow you can always show uh, share it off in the kitchen or the thankful feels channel I myself have got to make some uh, more Chex Mix and make some make some sausage balls tomorrow before my family gathering in the afternoon Ooh, there's one more thing I've got to check something I was curious about nope I think it's gonna Okay. Treasure box does not respawn. Spirit and I were curious about it the other night when he was playing through his playthrough. He's like, wait, I thought I opened this up. Like, don't tell me that the spirit stone treasure chest respawns once a day. That would be amazing and also broken, because then that would be an extra 5k you'd have in your pocket every single day. I don't think that's what the devs intended. <laughs> those off. Yeah, we have just been experiencing the story, doing some exploring and what have a lot of money. Oh. Poor Braca.
Oh, So wholesome. I love that, like, the characters continue to, like, send you letters even after, like, reaching level 10 closeness with them. And it's all about friendship. Like, it's not about partners or romantic interests yet. It's sincerely just about friendships and closeness and whatnot. So we'll see come post-game. Go... Go check all the gathering spots, of course. Ooh, that was a good pull today. Needed more monolite fragments. It's just so crazy to think that you get these... You get these gathering spots once per day, and they'll always yield, like, an RNG of resources that you need, either for eating, for cooking, crafting, and whatnot. Again, I'm gonna say it time and time again, I would live here. Like, just because of how beautiful and cozy this place is. Like, oh my goodness. Definitely gonna have to like reorganize my uh, my feel at some point. We'll save those. See you later. Okay. What do we have left? At some point, we're just gonna have to go around the whole map and explore everywhere. got a recipe last time for the accessory synthesis machine, but I forget exactly what it took to make it. That sounds like something really, really heckin' good. But I remember we were missing something. Sen3 accessory synthesis jar clay from the coral shrine. Dang it. Okay. Let's go see about that. I'll do a little bit of exploring since we've been going so hard on the lore and the new see dungeons. You later. I didn't think so. <laughs> Alright, we get the comfy underwater music. Uh, 
So clay, this is probably going to be mining, I think it is. Let's see if my encyclopedia says anything. Play mining in the coral shrine. I do like that they have this though that says like, hey, here's how you find this stuff and where. Alright. So spots. There. Hard to gather other stuff over here too. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's get this over. Oh, you two be quiet. Piece of cake. I'm highly capable, you know. Swapped a fighter just to keep getting it some levels. There's one spot. Oh, and we still didn't find that key to the gate. Yeah, there's a lot of mysteries in these dungeons we haven't solved yet, son of a gun. That may be something I have to look up instead, because it's kind of like that uh, key card gate we found in the research tower that we have no idea what it was. Apparently there's a lot of other mysteries that Spirit has found in his playthrough that I haven't in mind. We still have no idea what do. So there's still a lot to this game, which is good. Let's go back to the monolite. Looking for mining spots. Good, these spots. I owe you one. Dimensional fears that are around be here that should be like this. Weak to uh, lightning is what the deal is. So let's give it some lightning. Then. Hmm. Not lightning. Sorry. 
simple ice proof V. Okay. Well, let's swap to that. Thanks. Need to get my stamina back up. Why is mage so powerful? Not that I'm complaining. At this point, you should be kind of OP against some of these monsters. Okay, let's go here. On the hunt for mining spots. Oh, and there's the spot with the level 2 bomb that we needed. Could go check that out since we've got one more on us. Yep. Excuse me. So let's go up here. Still fun. <laughs> Good. Yeah, here. Ooh. Okay. Good luck. Imagine those large water cores are going to come in clutch later, too. Alright, what secrets are held behind you? This one isn't going to be easy. No way. Another high level fear? Uh, more minor spoilers for you. Um, I went and did the, the level 2 bomb spot in Higgin Canyon, and it was a level 55 sleeping fear called like the King or whatever it was, like the King Horn Deer or whatever. And just, just chilling back there. It was. There was nothing else back there but these guys, so that's what I suspect is behind all of these are high level stuff, which I mean would help complete yeah, would help complete the encyclopedia and would be whatever kind of drops there are, I suppose, but Yeah, he he big. How big we talking? Fifty nine. No thank you. Yeah, he's speedy. He's very speedy. No. Guess we know what's behind there. 
What's behind door number two? That's it in terms of mining spot, which is fine. Okay, let's go back to the entrance. Got a fair number of clay now, at least. Can make that an accessory synthesize synthesis jar. That's good. one over here that we haven't dealt with. Oh, I'm betting it's the Nemea. Nemea dungeon. There's always like one prominent fear per dungeon. Okay. So next we need to go to Mia. Oof. Dang it, frames. Cool your biscuits. Sheeshums. egg real quick. We likely won't be able to complete what we wanted to do tonight, since fears do take a while. But it doesn't hurt to look around, at least. Okay, yeah, these fears. There's quite a bit of mining spots too, which is good for us. Yeah, I suspect that these are the fears that we haven't taken down yet. Let's see if I can go grab this real quick. I guess we don't really need mining spots from this area. Right. Let us return home. And... Yes, there we go. Definitely want to see what this can do. Combine accessories. Ooh. That. Oh, good.
You know what? Let's risk the biscuit. I don't think we're terribly close to passing out, but I just want to see what this thing does. Hmm. So it takes all of our accessories. Granted, we've only found, like, simple and fancy stuff. Supposedly there's, like, at least four levels of accessories, but we haven't been defeating a lot of the fears in order to get them. Hmm. We combine certain stuff. Hmm. Oh, but it just ups whatever. It only combines the stats, it won't add them together. Interesting. Hmm. And you can't stack uh, resistant attributes, similar resist attributes. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Well, I guess if we get some really powerful rings in the future, whenever we actually start taking down some stuff, some of the fears and whatnot, this might actually be good. So I guess for now, I was kind of hoping it would add up instead of just putting the better stats on it. I guess for now, it's better than having to... Wait. Oh, and it's instant, too. Hmm. Yes, at least that's a perk. Hmm. Can't just synthesize HP with anything. Interesting. Let's make sure that's a quench. We have a fancier new ring. Alright, bedtime. Alright, 54, let's go. We are definitely going to have to keep leveling up if we're going to take on any of these, like, super fears that we're finding. So grab some more potato. Since I can grow those in the winter, I could also get some cabbage somewhere, I suppose. Ooh, we're running out of batteries. Oh boy.
Hmm. Wants to go to Namiya. So we get one more for putting one feed in the feed maker. It's actually not bad. Take this. So much juice. Grow some more come spring for sure. At least I get some high quality lettuce, see what that does. Two. Hmm. Nice uh, smoke a fish. I put it in the fermenting barrel instead of in the feed maker like I plan to. Whoopsies! There ain't you in there. No. Bother. I keep getting turned around. Here these are. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. How much money do I have? Well, sixty thousand. bit more exploring today. At some point I'm probably going to need to go back probably to the highway. Now I've got to remember. Let's see. Let's check our encyclopedia. We're going to need more ingredients. More crafting ingredients to make more level 2 bombs and repair kits. That... 
Oh, it comes from the Hornet. And the Cog comes from Anthalassa Junction. Okay. Okay. We will get there. See you later. Alright, so we're going back to Heaven's Egg to take on the fear over there. And we can see what is behind the level 2 door, which, again, I have a suspicion that all of them are going to be the, the high level fears. Of course. Let's see, is it here? Yes, perfect. It's right there. So we can finally explore behind what's the, what is behind this door. Just a treasure chest. Okay. Renewed poison orb recipe. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take it not being another high level figure. Then. This guy up here we can take on. Oh, but they're running in a. They're running in a tandem. I don't. I only want to take on one of these guys, not not multiples. All right, you. you might be able to take it down. There. Let's get this over. Flower Garden Patrol. Yeah, I remember when I used to run from these things because of how big and scary they are. Now it's like. I mean, they're not pushovers, but they're certainly much simpler. <laughs> There's now that we're opening up those areas with the bombs and the fears and stuff. Um, discovering those higher level fears, it's like the challenge isn't completely gone. So we'll have to come back for those higher level, stronger fears at some point in the future. Again, we're only... We're only 54 now, and I still don't know what the max level for this game is. I'm assuming it's 99, but who knows? We shall see. <gasps> what else? Ah, oh, dang, there's a level 2 bomb place up there. Okay, now that I would maybe suspect is a, uh... Is a fear. Then, of course, there's the blue botanical wall that we weren't able to get past. Man, each of these places has somewhere we can't go yet. So we've got to figure out what the what the trick is. What is the key? Hmm. I might have to look this up. But we will try to make as much progress as we can. Let's go ahead and head back. Right now is just kind of getting a general feel for all the places. And again, at some point we'll probably need to go to the Castle of Illusion and the, the highway to get more materials for our stuff. So slowly but surely. The other thing is, is we haven't exactly explored all of this map yet, either. Northern Desert Island. Huh. Oh! The ten Black Pearls. Interesting. Do 
Roll that up there. Western Uplink. It's like we certainly haven't explored all of the, uh, all the map yet, either. Hidden Canyon Western Forest. Huh. Warm pumpkin soup recipe, let's go. Again, it's just places we haven't ex been able to explore to the fullest yet. Oh man. Uh, the only thing that stinks about it is that, of course, it does take time to explore the map. And time does move more quickly when you're on the, the world map. And we went to Heaven's Egg. Let's go check out the forest real quick. I don't remember if there was... There was something we needed a level 2 something for. Oh, yep. Down there in the corner, and again, I can anticipate that's gonna be another fear or something, maybe, depending. Lean. Yeah, now we've gotten the next one. Forest. Jatola. Arbiter of Love. That was the Castle of Illusion. Because <sighs> these are all going in order in the dungeon. So it was Chatola Or uh, the Coral Shrine. And I'm guessing this is... This is the Silent Cave, and then the, the Seas Light Cavern. We could go over there. Sadly, we don't have what is needed to check out that one area yet. We will be back, darn it. Let's go in the Silent Cave. Check out the fear here. Oh, another level 2 bomb area there. Watch out for any nasty holes. I'm gonna try to do some leveling along the way too, now that we're still pretty strong. The battle begins. Piece of cake. I'm highly capable, you know. Alright, you. We should be able to do something. Let's get this over. Just die. Oh, nice. Oh, but it's not gonna get a double break off of that. Less. Hoping we could get a get a double break and have one of our guys show off the moves. That's okay.
Never a steady day. The battle begins. Here's proof Conelu doll. We're just chilling over here with this guy. Son of a gun. That's another thing, is like we haven't we haven't been able to explore enough to find out where all these Conelu dolls are. And supposedly there's at least 30, 30 dolls and rewards to be given for them. And there's just still so much to discover about this game. Especially when it comes to, like, exploration and such. Uh, hmm. Let's look around a little bit more. Are you hiding anything we should be here? Let's get this over. I mean, at least defeating these guys should be beneficial in terms of experience. That's it. You're seeing. I'm, I still have yet to learn what all of these uh, markings mean, but I know that would be beneficial, especially when like achieving breaks with these monsters. Kill him, but I'm uh, we could have gotten close, but that's okay. Fancy magic ring. Well, it does sound fancy. I also kind of wonder what the RNG is for all of the drops we could get from the fears, potentially. See, even that feels like... Like there's nothing set in the different uh, items we could get from these monsters. Charge, I could probably get another break with him. No, it wouldn't be side by side, dang it, because we don't know what what his uh, second weakness is yet. Now let's try. Let's make a simultaneous attack. Yeah, dang it. We have to be side by side, otherwise. Me. I mean, I know that takes a little bit of strategery and whatnot, but it'd be really cool, like, if you got at least two, how that would count. Let's wrap this guy up. Let's get this over. Here we go. Whoop. Fancy indigestion guard ring, huh? 
It does sound fancy. Won't complain. I will complain. Yeah, we're not making it back, so... Return bell away! It is kind of fun going back to these, like, at least kind of feeling, you know, powerful enough to take on these fears and get something decent out of it at least. That way. Let's see about these rings real quick. Ooh. That's nice. Indigestion guard, I'm guessing, is like any. Uh, what is it? I know that there's a debuff about uh, like not being able to. Uh, what's it? Not being able to eat food or get the buffs off of it or something. Let's see. <clears throat> My magic. The thing is, is I don't think you can combine... I don't think you can combine rings more than once, so it's almost like you kind of want to save some stuff. You want to save some of your good rings for later. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. See about crafting some return bells real quick before we pass out. Okie doke. Very good. All right, to bed. to start carrying some of these orbs around with us. See, orbs, orbs. this moves continuous physical damage that's not bad considering how many of them we have. not that we have to fill the uh not that we have to fill 
the fermenter level three every day, but you know, it's, it's there. You kind of just want to take advantage of the time you have. At some point we'll be able to make like a whole bunch of apple juice. What not? Ooh, we don't have any more batteries. Batteries, batteries. Also the Pantalassa jun Junction, okay. Gave us Clefowl feed. Excellent. Pink up buttons. Got some crops begging to be harvested. Ooh. Hello, little crappies. Well, now we've got Arjun Catwoman. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. It's weird. It's cabbage, but it almost kind of looks like a mix of Brussels sprouts. Like Brussels sprouts and kale. Ooh, we can also make some orange juice. The key is to have fun with everything. Hmm. It'd be really nice if I could, like, dig this guy up and, like, put him over here. But, you know, organization. <laughs> Very good. So much juice. And we're gonna need it, to say the least. Definitely gonna need the juice to uh, restore... Or the heels. For them good heels. We got cabbage, which means we can cook now! Alright. The stuff we've been waiting for. Doo -doo -doo. That. Ooh. Like this. Which, this recipe, I actually saw Spirit make this the other night. I did not anticipate herring in a fur coat looking like this. Like some pretty stacked entree dish like I expected it to be like a coated deep fried fish coated or covered in a shredded cabbage that's what I imagined when it said herring in a fur coat I did not imagine a little pretty layered savory dish but you know <laughs> I am still learning when it comes to cooking I will never not stop learning until my final breath Oh, we need some more opera leaf too, so we've got even more reason to go back to the highway. Very good, very good. Still waiting on chili plants, still waiting on the cocoa. Same. They catch tempura bowl. I don't think that was something to turn in. 
or the Kamameshi, but I could be wrong. Jelly plant still waiting on. Okay. Now we just have to wait till spring until we can get some peaches. Yeah, the food in this game looks so peckin' food. Both of these should hopefully go to Arjun so we can stop off over there. Since that's kind of where we're going today. Ooh. Nice. little bit of hints of what's to come and what the game expects you to do. It is kind of nice that they put the, you know, make friends with all of your people. Explore all the floors of the quietest dungeon and such. You know, to kind of give you the, hey, this is something you should do in order to get all those benefits. Not to mention the lore. That's smarter on their part. Ooh, yes, please. Take them. Get our gathering spots for all of our materials. All our dailies, essentially. I know we've just been kind of enjoying this game and its adventures today, but I do appreciate everyone that's come in. Hope you are doing well. If you're in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving week. I do hope if you are traveling, if you are staying, just whatever your Thanksgiving is, I do hope it is lovely and restful and thankful for you. As I am thankful for all of you as well. Okay. And if not, if you're in other parts of the world, I do hope you are just having a lovely week with whatever goes on for you. Again, as a reminder, if you are a sub, or as an incentive to be a sub, I will be revealing the holiday emotes to subs within the next 24 hours in the sub channel in the Discord. And then our new holiday emotes should be going live this weekend after Thanksgiving. So, something to look forward to, especially now that they'll be much crisper. Nice looking, I've been getting used to my art program more and more, which is nice. It's good to... Think about getting better at something little by little. Especially when it comes to me previously not being all that confident in my art but making something I can be pleased with. And I hope that all of you will be pleased with as well. I have some cute holiday emotes to use out there on Twitch. Alright. He's off. See you later. Yeah, this game is definitely getting fun. I know it feels like it's taken a slow time to kind of warm up. At least in terms of, like, lore, getting to other things that really get you invested in the game. But I've been enjoying this trip. And I was glad to see when I did a little bit of research as to how the reception of the game was taken. Is that it was received pretty fairly decently. It was like 77 out of 10 or 80% or... At least, like, in the upper three quarters of scoring... Uh, let's see. Right. I was like, we needed a reason to go into the city, right? And yes, it was to turn in food! Almost forgot about that. Do 
do. And then we can head into the cave. Not that, you. Yes! Ooh, hot pot. I really want to try hot pot sometime this winter. I remember seeing all kinds of different versions and stuff of it, and hot pot always looks so stinking tasty. I think it, along with Korean barbecue, is one of those things that's slowly catching up over here in the U.S. Yeah, for it just being, like, so casual and comforting and delicious looking, like, <clears throat> it definitely looks like it's right up my alley. I've tried other stuff, like, I've made fondue, like, once. And even then, it didn't turn out the greatest, because it was kind of grainy. It was still alright, but it could have been better, but it was my first time making it. But Hot Pot just kind of seems like, I don't know, like, the perfect kind of combination of, like, comforting and easy and such. Because it's just like building a soup base and then putting a whole bunch of well-prepared ingredients and cooking them in it. Okay, there's nothing else we need over here. Not this way. We'll take the shortcut. What secrets lie for us here in the Seas Light King? Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Hey, okay, we found everything we can over here. There is a fear nearby we can take on, so let's go do that. We should oh. be able to handle something like this. Alright, you. Driving Kelpie. It has a ice weakness. That's nice. And a slashing weakness. Okay. Here we go. Oh, no, we're gonna do this. Swap back over and do this. All right, Azel. It's all you. Answer my call. Couldn't just stand by. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Good job, Azel. Best cinnamon bun. I'm getting the hang of it though. Learning how to read what uh what weaknesses are out there. I guess at the very least, it's like once you use it and it pops up on the gauge, you'll at least know what triggers the weaknesses. But man, couldn't have been a more perfect combination between having mage and fighter on the same board. You know, we might we might swap out our characters too if I'm going to try to start aiming for more breaks. Because we've friended a lot of people. Doo -doo -doo. You know who we haven't had in our party in a long time? Aria. Let's bring her in. And Dianthus, sure. Still have a physical melee user and a long distance magic user. Why not? Especially since we just unlocked Dianthus's uh, special attack skill yes, please mm -hmm. uh, let's look a little bit deeper
Oh. There are a couple of spots over here, but we haven't explored yet. And the question is... Is it related to the level 2 bombs or repair or, uh, repair kits? Let's go this way. Because now this has me curious, being able to... It, it makes the dungeons feel a little fresher, because now I'm not literally, literally running in fear from these large fears, considering they're lower level than us now. And it gives us something new to discover, whether it's a recipe, or maybe something high level. All kinds of stuff. No! Ooh. Bother. So I'll have to go. I'll have to go back the other way. Darn it. Dang it, game, you are clever. I won't try to shortcut my way through there. We'll do this legit. Yeah, three different spots on the map that we haven't been to. Interesting to find out what. Eat something though. Thank you. Oh, oh you. Let's eat ice. Commence. That was a good workout. No, wait, we just need to. Away. Oh, I just never came in here. Oh, we can get clay from this too. Okay. Hmm. I just completely missed walking in there. I guess because of dealing with all the big bad enemies and stuff. Hmm. Fish news. Let's go right. Get these out. That was a good workout. Let's go this way. And yeah, we're slowly but surely. <sighs> Remembering that one, there's each one type of giant fear per dungeon. Oh, dang. Wait, then. Huh. Okay, we need to go shoot, making me backtrack. Need to head back. You have And the dungeon design's pretty clever too, where they have you like trip up different different mechanics in order to be able to explore and whatnot. Great right, do. Dune. 
Oh. <laughs> and then it freezes the fears. Helpful. Okay, perfect. Now we can make it around here. Revel pepper seeds. We take those. Oh. Another level 2 bomb wall. Dang. Me without another level 2 bomb. So now we've learned that it can either be treasures or it could be another high level fear. Which I imagine is going to be on the encyclopedia list. Let's loop up and around to the top left spot over there. See what it has to offer. I find it hilarious that all the fears just get frozen by activating the winter seas light over there. Like it's nice. It's expected. Freeze the big boys to get them out of the way. It's all the way down there. Which is what's going to be fastest. Right now. those fears. Oh no. Whatever are we gonna do about all the underpowered fears in our way? Okay. <laughs> I didn't go back down, child. <sighs> of course, now this puts other fears in our way. Not that that's a big deal. An enemy like this is not impossible to beat. Yep, you are not my target. Great, you. I suggest performing a break. Let's break room. Awesome. That was awesome. 
fancy magic ring. An official. Let's swap. Same for this guy. This just cast meteor. Ooh. I think we can handle it's too perfect. Fancy exorcism ring. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I am all for doing these, my gosh. Yeah, now I'm sad I haven't been able to pay attention to get these sooner, my goodness. Can live. See what's back here. All right, what's in the chest? Wise man's room. Okay. Not a bad thing. And the last thing is just that level two bomb waiting for us over there. All right. Now you're going down. defense ring. So really, at least for the sake of good accessories, it is worth taking these guys down. I guess we'll see what kind of experience they net us at the end of the day, too. But yeah, now that now that I don't have to literally be in fear of these fears, this is actually pretty fun. Just being able to go all out against them, trigger the double breaks, get my party members to do their, their specials and stuff. Feels good, yo. Mm. Oh, go away. An enemy like this is not impossible to beat. Except we're not really looking to defend, to defeat enemies. We've already been doing it so much. Very sleepy, dang it. Okay. Use our return bell. Actually could go back to the seas light cave take that out see what's behind it right and when you're not worried about progressing story or big dungeons one after the other, like, there's actually, the days go by pretty quickly. 
Not that I'm complaining, I'm having a lot of fun exploring these dungeons and taking out the fears and getting these super powered accessories and whatnot. Whoa! Is there anything you Ooh. can't do? This water fairy stone. Interesting. And it's neat how the fairy orders can kind of hint as to what they want you to do. Kind of a way, I mean, I guess in its, in its own way, it's kind of a an achievement. Achievement list. Hmm. Marmalade, okay. Interesting. Let's see. Make more jam. Mm -hmm. Done vegetable, lemon, grape. Orange, berry, aloe. What else could we make jams out of? Hmm. of coffee. Yeah, and I'm a little sad we can't make any uh, chestnut jam or whatever. I guess whatever the equivalent would be. Hmm. Oh, I guess I could make some, uh, apple jam. See if that works. We need more battery. Let's build this. Yep, make apple jam. Very good. Coconut juice. Chili plants are growing. Pink cock muffins. Do you want to work on the farm today? Nice to harvest. Mm. Oh, much juice. Stay fed and petted. Been going a while without making a save or another break. I get bad about that whenever I'm having so much fun, and I am. Like, I'm enjoying where the game is going, where it feels like, you know, you're not stuck. Especially, like, with exploring dungeons or high level enemies and stuff like that with the fears and whatnot. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I'm having more and more fun with this game, of course. But, 
That being said, I am going to go ahead and take another break. I encourage you all to do the same. We'll run some ads to push back pre-rolls. We'll be back in a few minutes.